Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm out in the whip, and I'm dropping another impromptu car tech review on y'all. This time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the BAM. This is the Stanley Charge It 1 Amp. Now, if, if you don't know what this is, basically, it's uh, similar to what a battery tender is. Now, if you don't know what a battery tender is, um, a battery tender is something to use when... You have an old battery and you're trying to get the most life, you're trying to get all the life you can out of your battery or you have a battery that's just, you know, you know old or has uh, problems with it and uh, doesn't give up enough amps um, during the, when you go to start your vehicle. It's not enough cranking amps to start your vehicle. So um, what this does is you plug it up to your um, battery um, and then you plug it up to your house and what it does is it gives what's called a trickle charge. Um, and um, with the trickle charge, it uh, basically makes sure that way in the morning when you come out and it's nice and cold outside, especially during the wintertime. Because in the wintertime, the wintertime, the cold weather in general wrecks havoc on uh, the, um, the lead acid batteries. So this, what it does is um, it gives the trickle charge to your battery to make sure your battery has enough cranking amps to start your vehicle each and every time. Um, and like I said, I, I threw out the name battery tender because that's pretty much the standard. Um, everybody's heard of battery tender because that's kind of what it is. So of what it is is the name brand of the one that everyone uses. Um, but this is Stanley's version of it. So enough about uh, enough preface. Let's get into it. Um, um, this works with a 12 volt battery. Now, I know some of them out there, they have some that works with a 6 and 12 volt. There's uh, very few vehicles that still even use a 6 volt batteries. I think they use 6 volt batteries in cars back in the 30s, uh, back before 1940. They had 6 volt batteries in cars. And you might find a couple motorcycles that may still have a 6 volt battery in it. But mostly everything has 12 volt batteries until you start getting to big trucks. And when I talk about big trucks, I'm talking about like dump trucks, 18 wheelers, stuff like that. Um, this uh, gives out one amp, and it says rapid charge, but one amp, that's pretty much going to charge, take it like over, that's good, like overnight deal. They have some out there that I've seen that are three amps, um, eight amps, even 16 amps. But if you're just using this just to make sure that your battery um, stays uh, at a nice char charge overnight, then this is all, one amp is all you need. I mean, because the battery tender is 750 milliamps. That's not even one whole amp. It's three quarters of an amp. So... Um, this is one whole amp, so this is uh, plenty for what I need. It has two different connectors. You can either use the the lobster clamp connectors that you use for any, that any most jumper cables have, that all jumper cables have, I should say. And it also has the little two little um, circle prongs that you could like screw in um, to one of the uh, um, screws um, on your battery, um, and uh, let the wire like hang, take it off to the side, so that way you can just plug it up that way. It has reverse polarity warning. It has automatic smart charge, and what that means is no different than your uh, your cell phone battery. Um, your cell phone battery has the smart charge in it, so it'll charge it till it's um, done, and then it'll stop charging. And it'll just send send a, what's called a trickle charge to your battery. So as your battery is depleting, it'll you know it'll keep it at an optimal charge without overcharging it and, and burning out your battery. And it has a 12 foot cord, so. Uh, if you pull your car into your driveway instead of backing in like I do all the time and pull up to your house, most people have a receptacle right, you know, out in front of their house and uh, 12 feet should be more than enough uh, feet to uh, reach. Me, I like to back in because uh, I'm kind of on a busy street and um, I like to just be able to just drive out of my driveway instead of having to back out into possible, you know, traffic. So I'm going to need a, maybe like a little 10 foot extension cord just because, like I said, I back in. But it's neither here nor there. Um, so that's enough talking about it. Let's go around the box. That's what she looks like. Bong. You can pause this. Read it. Um, there's some more artwork on the side here. Pause all that. Read that for yourself. More artwork on the other side. Okay, and in the back... Once again, more artwork showing what it looks like. All this stuff here, you can pause it and read it. Bottom of the box, got your barcode. You know, I like to show you that. All this information has got a one year warranty on it. Now, the battery tender has a, I believe, a three or a five year warranty on it. So, 
I mean, I mean, but this is only 15 bucks, so I mean, if something happens to it, I mean, and I bought it from Walmart, so you can always take it back and you know, Walmart will let you freaking they'll refund your money, so it don't matter. Like everything else is made in China. Top of the box is uh, some more artwork. So, one handed operation here. Let's go into the box, see what we're working with. Can we open up the box? You can read it with the actual device right there. One-handed operation. These are the things that you deal with. Okay, so nothing else in the box. Put that to the side. Okay, got the tender right here. Got your cord here, which looks like a banana connector, kind of, here. Um, got your plug on the other side, standard two-prong plug. Got your alligator clips, positive and negative. And then you got your little circle clips, positive and negative. And everything connects to, so you see how you could just connect this to your battery, plug it, I mean, screw it into your battery and it'll stay there and just this wire hangs off to the side. So then you could just come up with this, plug this directly in, bong, you, you set. Or you could just, you know, use this however you need to do it. But they give you two options, that's all I like about it. You know, the battery tender, um, it's twice the price of this and you just get the the only thing they give you is just the alligator clips so this is half the price um has more of a uh, a little bit stronger of a charge and you get two options so you know basically battery tender is becoming so synonymous with this that people tend to look for that because they think that's what you need but um like i said this does the same thing for half the price so what i'm going to do is um my battery is basically the battery the type of battery that i explained to you in the beginning of the video and so when i shut my car off my battery's dead because i need to get a new battery but <clears throat> for the purpose of this i am going to it's just gonna be dead and tomorrow morning we're gonna hook this up finish out the review and um basically uh well i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is uh, when i get home i'm gonna shut off the car and do a quick video just showing you that the car is dead and then um i'm gonna hook this up and in the morning, we're gonna come back in and show that uh, hopefully there's enough charge on my battery that my car will start right up. So um, see you on the flip when I get home. Okay, we back in and as you can see, my vehicle is on. Um, I just revved it up a little bit. I don't know if you can heard that. Turn my radio on so you can see it is on. And now what I'm about to do is turn it off so you can see that my battery is in fact dead. My battery is in fact dead. Okay, now I just turn my vehicle off and I will open my door and the vehicle is off. Now I'm going to turn it back on so you can in fact see that the battery died instantly. See, nothing. I'll try one more time. Nothing. So my battery is in fact dead. I just wanted to prove to you that my battery is dead. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the Stanley and uh, come back in the morning and hopefully there was enough of a trickle charge that charged my battery overnight and I should be able to start it right up in the morning. So uh, see you on the flip in the morning. Okay, we out here, it's bright and early in the morning. It's still dark outside. Um, you see I got the clamps hooked up for the, um, the Stanley Charge It. Um, And there goes the receiving end of it right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this bad boy and see what we're working with. Okay, take the keys out. All right. Here goes. And we have ignition. We have ignition. That's what's up. So that just goes to show that this Stanley charge it does the job. You don't got to pay big bucks for a battery tender or one of those big big Johns because this will do what you need to do. So I highly recommend this. And it's only 15 bucks at Walmart. And if you get yourself a little coupon or something like that, it's even less. So with that being said, I'm Nez and this has been the official um, car tech review of the Stanley charge it one amp. Cop that. I'll put a link in the description for Walmart and I'm out this piece.